Hello dear friends, Frank here again. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw dipper pines. And I must ask you again guys to leave your subscription and leave us a like. That's going to be essential for the channel. So hit the like button and activate the bell so you can get notifications whenever I post a new video. So in order to draw dipper pines we're going to start with this bean. Alright, it's a bin that looks like a cushion. And I'm gonna get this central point here. And I'm gonna divide it in uh, sort of the middle. And then I'm gonna trace a vertical line. Like this. So now it kind of looks three dimensional. I'm gonna measure the size of this head. Now I mark this line because I know that his body is not gonna go beyond this. So for his body, I'm just going to trace a letter U. And his legs are gonna be thin. with an inverted C for his foot. Notice that his legs are not gonna be straight lines exactly. They are slightly curved. Okay, now that we have the legs done, let's start dealing with the arms. And I'm marking the place where I think the shoulder could be. And then I draw this V shape because his arms are gonna be crossed. I pull it over the line and uh, now I'm gonna draw the hand just three fingers. If you're still having doubts on how to draw a character with his arms crossed, uh, you can always pause, go back, so you can get it the right way. Now the nose coming from the central line, right here. Just an inverted letter C. His mouth, his smile is going to be very close to the nose, so it gives him a big chin. And his eyes are just going to be two big circles. And two dots for his irises. Now with this line in an angle, I'm going to start drawing his cap. And take a look, because it, uh, it goes around his head, kind of goes around his head. Now we're going to pull this line from the front, and, uh, and that's going to be the visor for his cap. And then we start drawing some hair, which is going to be a bit rounded. And his eyebrows are just going to be these two lines right above the eyes. So now um, going a little beyond the, the, the initial marking for his head. I'm going to uh, make a kind of a mountain and draw his cap. Let me erase a few of the lines. 
and I gotta draw a pine tree in front of the camp. I just uh, I, I, I drew a triangle to guide me and then I drew the pine tree around it. Now let's continue with his hair. So he's got some little sideburns over here. Big ear, just an inverted letter C. And okay, now I can finish the shape for his face. I've got to refine some of the features. Now from this point here, around his shoulder, I'm gonna pull his, uh, his jacket. It's gonna come down and I think this is uh, an okay point to, to draw the waist. And I just finished drawing the jacket around his arm. The other side, just a couple of lines. Now for his shorts, I'm gonna make square shapes like this. Okay, I think that's fine. And I'm just going to uh, reinforce the lines for the legs. Mark these two lines just to show he's wearing his socks close to the knees. Now it's time to get the marker and do the line work. Just be careful so you don't get confused by the guiding lines. I did this time uh, and that's why it's a good idea to erase some of the lines you do. And I'm gonna use watercolor pencils for this one. I wanted to show you how the colors are gonna change and uh, how they are gonna become more vivid as I apply water to it. It's time to put some water and uh, let the colors reveal themselves. And that's it my friends, dipper's ready. I hope you have enjoyed the process and I hope I've made it easy enough for you guys to replicate. Don't forget to stick around, check the channel for something else you like, I'm, I'm sure you're gonna find something. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I hope to see you guys next time, goodbye.